Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. This is Matt, and today we solve a problem from the Water Resources Depth section of the Civil PE exam. So let's dive in. A 75-acre drainage area has a curve number of 82. The local forecast predicts a summer thunderstorm producing 6 inches of rain. How much rainfall will occur before runoff begins? So the key to solving this problem is in us identifying that we're being asked to solve for how much rainfall will occur before runoff begins. And the key to this is really before runoff begins. And what that is referring to is the initial abstraction. And if we take a step back, let's talk about what the initial abstraction is for a minute. So when rain begins to fall from the sky, some of it will be evaporated, some of it will be intercepted and land on tree canopy and leaves and vegetation and things like that. And then some of it will make its way down to the ground and begin to soak in or infiltrate into the ground. And all of that and those processes are called the initial abstraction. Once the ground becomes fully saturated and no more water can infiltrate, it no longer has an infiltration capacity, then runoff begins. So we need to realize and be very familiar with the concept of the initial abstraction and realize that not all rainfall will run off. There'll be a period of time at the beginning of each rainstorm where there may not be any runoff as these processes are occurring. So if we search the term initial abstraction in the PE reference handbook, and at the time of this recording, we're using version 1.1 in the reference handbook, will be led to section 6.5.2.2, where we find the equation for initial abstraction is equal to 0 0.2 times s. And in that same section, 6.5.2.2, we're given an equation for s, which is the maximum basin retention in inches, and s is equal to 1,000 over the curve number minus 10. And the first step will be solving for s. So we're going to solve for s using what we're given in the problem statement. So s is equal to 1,000 over the curve number, which we're given in the problem statement of 82. So 82 minus 10. And that means that s is equal to 2.195 one two two inches and so in step two we'll use the equation for the initial abstraction is equal to 0 0.2 times s so the initial abstraction is equal to 0 0.2 times 2.195122 inches and so the initial abstraction is equal to 0 0.439024 inches. And looking at the answer choices, that is closest to answer choice A, and we've solved this problem successfully. So if you're looking for more practice and review, head on over to civilengineeringacademy.com and check out our ultimate civil PE breadth and depth review courses, and we'll see you there.